Welcome to another ultrabooknews.com video. My name's Chippy and in this video we're going to do an unboxing of the Samsung Series 5 MP530 13.3 inch uh, Ultrabook. I've actually bought this, I bought it for my wife. I paid 740 or 745 euros um, in Germany and it comes with a software pack which we'll take a look at which I believe has five or six uh, usable products in there including uh, Cyberlink Power Director 9, uh, which is um, a pretty useful video editing package, works pretty well on Ultrabooks. I actually use it myself. Number 6,133 of 20,000 going out there. So, uh, gives you an idea of how many they're planning to sell in Germany at least. Maybe how many they've sold already. But let's get this unboxed and um, don't forget to stay tuned to ultrabooknews.com because we're going to have a full review of this. We're actually going to have a live review up as well. Um, some first impressions, blah blah blah, stay tuned for more. Let's get this unboxed. Okay, so while I unbox this, let me give you a few specs. I already mentioned the 13.3 uh, inch screen. It's a Core i5 device, it's got the 1.6 gigahertz uh, 2467M in it. It's got a hybrid hard drive, 500 gigabytes, I believe, with a 16, what is it, 32? Yeah, I think it's 16 gigabytes of uh, SSD to speed that up. I'm just going to take the device and put it to the side for a second, have a look to see what's in the box. Great to see the actual recovery disk included. Samsung do a good job of that. Also very useful when you've got an SSD that doesn't have a recovery partition on it, although this one isn't an SSD device. Um, fairly small Samsung charger, that's uh, good, and first time I've seen one of these tiny charger plugs for a Samsung. You usually have the bigger uh, bigger plugs. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's their VGA uh, mini port to standard VGA adapter cable. So you'll know that it's got a mini VGA port. There's the kettle plug, big thick heavy one. That is it. So let's put that stuff down to the side and we'll have a look at the Samsung Series 5 13 inch, so bring that out here. Let's get the uh, covering off it straight away. Put that over here. There we go. And so the Samsung Series 5 is not really top of the range in terms of design in Ultrabooks. Samsung actually have a range called the Series 9, which is far uh, more stylish in terms of design. This is not bad, it has a nice uh, metallic uh, finish on the top, uh, it looks very clean and not the slimmest Ultrabook but actually compared to standard Ultrabooks, sorry standard netbooks, uh, notebooks, uh, pretty pretty slim and light. Let's just go around the, the device to show you some of the ports here though. Power in, that's a small DC in, there's the Ethernet port, Gigabit Ethernet and it's got the uh, little flap that expands underneath, Give, gives you an idea how thick that body is there. USB 3 and that's a USB 3 plus charging, yes plus charging port, full HDMI and there's a headset port, there's that mini VGA port that needs the dongle. So those of you that use uh, VGA at work or on projectors, um, be aware of that, these aren't the best in terms of connectors I find and they don't have the screw holes in the end here. On to the other side then, two more USB two ports and a full, if he can get it out, I think I have to pull it out, SD card slot. So pretty well specified in terms of ports. Uh, on the bottom we have something that's fairly uh, unique among Ultrabooks, an access port for hard drive and memory. So although this is a 500 gig uh, hybrid hard drive, you can swap it out for um, an SSD if you know what you're doing. I'm not sure what the height on the SSD is, four gigs of memory in this. Stereo speakers on the bottom and that's pretty much it. Maybe a reset button down in there. Um, on the front nothing, ah indicator lights, I was just looking for those indicator lights are on there so you can see what's happening when it's closed. So let's just open this up and take that off and there you have it. That's the inside matte screen as you can see. I um, I know how divided the world is and I know some people like matte screens, some people like glossy screens. 
I'm a little bit a uh, little bit more leaning towards glossy these days and the reason is, is because you can see the scatter that you get on a matte screen even if the light is not really shining on it you still get scatter down here if that was a glossy screen you wouldn't get this light scatter down here so maybe something to think about um, Samsung keyboard now this looks pretty much the same as the MP350 and at this point I actually want to bring in the MP350 because it's an interesting device to compare with this is the MP350 now it's about the same weight 1.4 kilos but it's slightly smaller in terms of surface area but it's slightly thicker uh, in terms of depth um, the, the interesting thing is that both of these have processors that run from 800 megahertz to 2.2 or 2.3 the thing in this thing is the difference is 1.6 gigahertz nominal 2.2 gigahertz nominal so this is speed stepping down and this is turboing up and speed stepping down uh, this is a slightly higher voltage CPU than this one so when you're really pushing it this one does take more energy than this one but this has a 500 gig disk in it as well this has a big bunch of ports it doesn't have USB 3 um, and it doesn't have the hybrid hard drive but it's actually an interesting device because it uh, it didn't appear in Germany, it appeared in the UK for a very, very cheap price uh, of around £420. Uh, it's now gone up in price and in the US they've actually changed the CPU on it to be a Core i3 uh, ultra low voltage, which means it's now a 1.4 GHz device instead of a 2.2 GHz device. So it could be that Samsung actually made a mistake in bringing the MP350 out uh, at a very low price and have actually sort of tried to reposition it now by changing the specs or even in some countries not bringing it in but having said that this is an ultrabook so there are some features on this that you won't find on the MP530 and in our full review I'll, uh, I'll highlight those go around the device uh, from the inside then let's just uh, go over that keyboard again I've tested this keyboard out and it really is a lovely keyboard it's good Samsung quality and there's a definite feel to the keys there's good uh, separation of the keys good high contrast uh, keys and keycaps as well big shift button, a huge enter button there uh, this is the um, German keyboard layout so you've got some additional keys uh, here on the right hand side big trackpad and actually a really nice click action on the separate uh, mouse buttons as well so um, interesting here first place uh, okay Samsung got first place from by MT NTV um, what else is there to say about it 1366 by 768 there's a webcam there and there's a 45 watt hour battery inside it so pretty average in terms of uh, the size of battery so I'm not expecting this to be any longer or any shorter than any other devices Bluetooth 3 plus HS it's not Bluetooth 4 uh, BG, BGN support in here as well there's no 3G there's no keyboard backlight uh, but it does have the Intel Centrino 6230 I believe it is uh, so it'll do wi wireless display and a few other nice things that the uh, Centrino 6230 does like uh, the Intel Pro uh, management facilities and Intel My Wi-Fi as well so um, let's give it a quick uh, first boot to see if there's any juice in it doesn't look like there is any juice in it so it looks like I'm gonna have to charge it before I actually uh, show you anything with the device on but I'll do that in another video and leave it there for the time being. Samsung MP530, it's uh, in Europe 740 euros. It's uh, one of the cheapest ultrabooks you can get in euros. And I actually think it's one of the nicest um, devices in terms of specs, in terms of ports, in terms of uh, features, in terms of uh, screen and keyboard quality. I haven't actually found any showstoppers in my testing so far when I've done testing at uh, various trade shows and uh, for a good few, a few hours, I'm not talking about five minutes hands on, I'm talking about a couple of hours of, of testing with, with the Series 5. Let's just have a look, quick look at that software pack that we've got uh, here. I've got a feeling I know what's in here because I've seen a similar one before. Um, right, I'm going to cover up the codes as well while I do this bring them off screen. Here's some Cyberlink stuff. Cyberlink do a lot of work with the Intel Media uh, SDK so that uses the Intel uh, QuickSync video features really well and actually these products are great. PhotoDirect 2011 I haven't used. Media Expresso 6.5 is well worth having. It converts video uh, really really quickly so if you've got a 1080p you want to throw it on your iPad or your iPod at a lower bit rate, lower size 
um, or you want to upload to YouTube, you've got a 1080p and you want to really get that qu really quickly up to YouTube in 480p, for example, this does it really, really quickly. It's well worth having. Uh, I actually wish I'd have, have the code. I'm, actually, I think I'll use the code. My wife's not going to use that. PowerDirector 9 is also very, very good software. Video editing software, I use it myself. I use version 10. But there's not much difference between 9 and 10. Um, I have used 9 uh, for a long time uh, before. You can five, so you can do some silly stuff with your camera live. Um, not sure. I think you can actually steer a, a second camera with it as well. So I have sort of two inputs. I'm not too sure. Uh, Waves Max Audio three. Um, your ultra, ultra books should sound just as good as it looks. It says there. Um, I guess it's a kind of a graphic equalizer, uh, DSP booster. Who knows. And this is kind of interesting, um, point grab. And it says here, like a magic hand, steer your Ultrabook without touching it. Um, I really, really want to try this out, actually. So this uses the camera, um, and I'm definitely going to give this a go over the weekend, because it'll make a great video to see if I can actually um, work, the, work the laptop with my hand. Excellent point grabs there. Then we've got some uh, special offers on Music Creator 6, Total Media Theater, and Showbiz 5, these are all from Cakewalk and ArcSoft. I haven't used these. Oh, Music Creator 6, well, I guess I've used Cakewalk a long, long time ago, but I haven't used uh, Music Creator 6. Total Media Theatre, uh, a media player, that is for your Ultrabook, Showbiz 5. It's a video editor, similar, I guess, to uh, PowerDirector. That's great, that is actually really well worth having, that uh, media pack. So. If you're thinking, and that is exactly the sort of software that uh, Intel needs to be pushing out on Ultrabooks, by the way. Um, what I really would love to have is Tractor DJ as a as a free download. <laughs> but anyway, there is the software pack. If you're ordering in Germany, um, see if you can get hold of one of those with your Ultrabook order. So thanks for watching the unboxing Samsung Series 5 Ultrabook from ultrabooknews.com. My name's Chippy. You can catch up with us on uh, Twitter, Facebook and Google+. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to check back on the site for more on the Samsung Series 5.